horizontal log splitters are designed for tough applications in the horizontal position. The attractive powder-coated finish provides the finest protection available, and our rigid quality control and component testing help ensure years of productive, reliable service. Since 1982, our brand name has stood for quality and reliability when it comes to log splitters and wood processing products. A log splitter is a wonderful tool designed to save you time. Before operating the machine, you must follow these simple safety rules in order to use your log splitter safely. Always read and understand all safety instructions included in the product manual. Do not attempt to operate or maintain our product without fully understanding all the instructions and safety precautions. The sales and service representatives at our main headquarters are available if you have questions about these precautions. If you do not have a manual that includes safety and operating instructions, they are available for download from our website 24-7. Remember, accidents can often be avoided by being alert and recognizing potentially hazardous situations. Read and follow the engine manufacturer's operating and maintenance instruction manual. Always wear protective gear, such as safety goggles, tight-fitting gloves without drawstrings or loose cuffs, steel-toed shoes, and a protective hearing device. Make sure all decals are attached to the log splitter and are legible at all times. To avoid tripping, do not leave tools, logs, or other components laying around in the work area. Never operate your log splitter on slippery, wet, muddy, or icy surfaces. The location you choose should be flat, dry, and free from any tall grass, brush, or other interferences. Never operate the engine in an enclosed area. Exhaust fumes contain carbon monoxide, which can be deadly when inhaled. Make sure the area is well ventilated. Never attempt to move your log splitter over hilly or uneven terrain without a tow vehicle. Never use your log splitter at night. Always operate your log splitter on dry, solid, level ground. Always block the wheels to prevent movement of the machine while in operation. Allow only one person to load and operate the log splitter. Allow only adults to operate the log splitter, no one under the age of 18. And always keep bystanders, including children and pets, at least 25 feet away from the work area. Only the operator should stand near the equipment. Never place hands or feet between log and splitting wedge or between log and ram during the forward or reverse stroke. Always place the log on the log splitter by grasping it by the sides. Do not operate the log splitter by reaching across the rail. This is a very unsafe method, which could cause personal injury or even death. Never reach across the rail to pick up split wood. This is also very unsafe. When operating your log splitter, make sure you stand clear of the engine's exhaust. Hot exhaust is intense and can cause serious injury. To properly operate the log splitter, position your log splitter on flat, solid ground and start the engine using instructions from the engine manual. Place the log on the log splitter by grasping it by the sides. Center the log on the rail. Remember that all logs should be 24 inches long or shorter. Do not try to wedge a longer log between the wedge and base plate. Do not place your hands on the ends of the log. Never attempt to split wood across the grain. The log splitter was not designed for cross-grain splitting. Doing so will damage the log splitter and may cause personal injury. Move the end of the log up against the slide plate. If one end of the log has been cut on an angle, turn it around so the flat end is against the slide plate. If you need to steady the log, hold it only on top and in the middle. Remove your hand immediately when the splitting wedge engages the log. Using only your hand, push the control lever forward towards the base plate. If the log moves before it is contacted by the splitting wedge, release the control lever to stop the wedge. Then reposition the log and continue splitting. Hold the control lever to extend the splitting wedge until the log is split or the cylinder rod stops at its maximum travel position. Stop the forward movement at any point if you feel an unsafe condition is occurring. Once the wedge reaches its full forward travel or the log is split, pull back fully on the control lever to retract the cylinder. It is not necessary to hold the control lever. The cylinder rod will automatically retract. When the cylinder is fully retracted, the control valve will automatically shift to a neutral position. 
do not load another log or remove split pieces until the control handle returns to neutral. Always disconnect the spark plug wire when the log splitter is not in operation. For safe towing of your log splitter, never tow your log splitter when there is fuel in the engine's tank. Position the hitch on your log splitter near the tow ball on the vehicle and pull the latch assembly upward to the open position. Lift the tongue and move the support leg to the toe or highest position by removing the snap lock pivot pin and inverting the leg. Insert the clip. Position the hitch onto the tow ball of your vehicle and push down on the latch. Pull up on the tongue arm to make sure the hitch is secure. Place a customer supplied lock pin into the latch assembly. Attach the towing safety chains to the tow vehicle. Check to make certain your log splitter is correctly and securely attached to the towing vehicle. Be sure that the ball hitch you are using is the proper size for the hitch coupler on the log splitter and the safety chains are properly hooked to the vehicle, leaving enough slack for turning. Extreme caution when towing and do not exceed a vehicle speed of 35 miles per hour, especially when driving on a bumpy road. Always obey all state and local regulations when towing on state and local roads. Never allow anyone to sit or ride on your log splitter. Never carry any cargo or wood on your log splitter. Only refuel the log splitter outdoors in a clear area void of gas fumes or spilled gasoline. Always use an approved fuel container to carry gasoline. Always replace the log splitter gas cap and the fuel container cap securely. Do not smoke or have open flames when refueling the engine. Do not fill the gas tank when the engine is hot or running. Do not remove the cap from the hydraulic tank or reservoir while the log splitter is running. Hot oil under pressure could be expelled, resulting in serious injury. Do not check for leaks with your hand. Leaks can be located by passing a piece of cardboard or wood around the suspected leak and looking for discoloration. High pressure fluid escaping from a very small hole can be almost invisible. Escaping fluid under pressure can have sufficient force to penetrate skin. If fluid is injected into your skin, it must be treated immediately by a doctor familiar with this type of injury. By following these simple steps to safe operation of one of our log splitters, you'll enjoy years of superior performance.